Are you looking for a free social media post scheduler? Let's discover Posties, a free open source platform for managing your social media accounts and scheduling posts in one place. The self-hosted version is free and includes essential scheduling and analytics features. You can easily deploy it yourself by following the detailed installation guides in the documentation. The paid version takes it a step further, offering advanced AI features for image generation and post creation, as well as access to a marketplace for content creation support and influencer connections, starting at $29 a month. For a simpler installation of the self-hosted version, you can use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy it on your server or the cloud provider of your choice, while we take care of the installation, backups, updates and maintenance for you. To start using Posties on our platform, head to ls.io and click on Login. Then deploy my first service, search for Posties and select. Choose between the different cloud providers. The last option is if you want to deploy it on your own existing server. I will stick to Hetzner for this video. Choose between the different region, service plans based on your needs, and then hit the next button. You can fine tune more advanced settings. Choose between the different level of support. The first one is included by default. I will take this one. And once you are ready, hit the create service button. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email telling you that your new Posties instance is ready. This software is a bit special because it will send you an activation link. Check your mail and once you receive it, follow the click here to activate your account link. Once done, it will activate your account, but it won't log you in. So you need to click on sign in. And because your account is automatically created by Alessio, go to the dashboard UI, copy the password to your clipboard, and this is the email of your account that will be used. Type your email and paste the password from your clipboard and you are ready to sign in. We arrive on Posty's dashboard. You can see three main buttons, calendar, analytics and plugs for plugins. On the top right, you can switch to light or dark mode, the settings and notifications. But the core of this product is the fact that we connect social media accounts. So what we need to do is to add channel. Most of the social media providers are here. You have X, Reddit, LinkedIn, Facebook, and so on. Good news, there are also open source ones, such as Mastodon or Lemmy. If you don't know them, you can check the videos on this channel. But let's use the most popular one, X. But if we click right now, it won't work could not connect to the platform. This is because in the self-hosted version, we need to use our API keys to perform actions on our behalf on those social media. To add the social media API keys, we need to head to post this documentation and follow the different guides per provider. This one is for X. We just need to follow the different steps to get our API key. So first step, head over to Twitter developers page. I already have an account and a project, but you need to create yours. Once you have your project, you need to go to the app settings and to set up the user authentication. So it's set up the first time, but now it's edit. You need read and write access to set up as a web app, automated app or bot. And very important is the callback URI. This one is false. It was for a test I made previously. So in the documentation, they explain you how to find it. So if your instance is posties.example.com, it will be all this link, but you replace the posties.example.com. So we only need to take this part and on our URL, we paste it. So we have slash integration slash social slash X. We copy it and here we paste it in callback URI. Then you can adjust different settings, but because it's not a real app, it's just to schedule content. It's not a problem. Save. OK. And now we need to get the keys. They tell us to go to keys and token and to generate consumer keys. Let's go to keys and tokens. I already have consumer keys, but I will regenerate them and I will also do it at the end of the video. So I can show you my keys for this one. So regenerate. Yes and copy the API key and API key secret. You need to set them in your environment of posties. So with LSEO, you can go to software, update config, and in the Docker compose, go to the environment section. Either you can create variables that you fill from the environment here, or write them directly inside the Docker compose. 
this is the ugly solution and I choose this one. So I know this is this and the key is X API key and X API secret. X API key, we need X API secret. We copy it from the developer portal. Yes, I saved them. Paste it and update and restart. It will restart your Postis instance with the correct environment variables. You can keep the logs open to know when it restarted. Once done, you can reload your tab and go to add channel. And now X should work, but be careful. It will log into your current account. So be sure that on X, you are on the account you want to perform it. So I will go to demo LSTO. Now I'm on this account. I can click on X. It's redirecting me, adding the channel and it's redirecting me. And I see channel updated. Now on the left, I can see demo LSTO account. Unfortunately, here in this panel, you don't have my icon, but I know it's visible elsewhere. But fine, we have the calendar and the main feature is to be able to schedule content. Let's say tomorrow morning at 10. And here you have the post creator, which is the same based on the different platforms. Hello, my friends. You can see here on the right, we have the preview and we also have my icon that is loaded. Then you can insert media if you want to upload images you have on your computer. But a great feature about this product is the design media option. It's an advanced tool to pick images from different libraries such as Unsplash or upload your images or create images from scratch like in Canva. So you can pick an image, position it somewhere or different. You can choose a background, but it will be hidden by the main image. So here we have our image with a background. On top of that, we can add some elements. I'm not an artist, so it won't be beautiful, but okay, it's a star. We add a yellow color. And on top of that, we can add some text and the templates are quite nice. Okay, end of season sale. It has been shrinked. Hello. Here we have our text, end of season, hello. Of course, do things better than me, but you can see the power of this. Without leaving posts, you can create nice looking posts. And once you are happy with it, use this media. It will create the image for you. Be listed in the preview on the right. Then you can go further, edit the date. So I picked it automatically, but I can still edit it. You have advanced settings here. For example, add reposters. I don't have account to do it, but what it does is it will repost automatically after a certain threshold. Let's say you have five X accounts. This one will post it and your reposters will also repost it to make it more visible on the platform. Once you are happy with your posts, you can save it as a draft or if you are sure, add to the calendar, you can still edit it later. And in your calendar, you will be able to see this. You can duplicate it see the statistics and also a preview of the post. This feature is pretty nice. Here you have the preview of the post and let's say you make it for a customer or inside a team and you want validation. On the top, you have share with a client. In a new tab, paste it and open it. This is what your customer will be able to see. And you have a discussion panel here. Add a comment, for example, make the star more orange post and based on the feedback you can adjust your post and make it perfect okay let's try to post it directly so let's do another one at a random time no issue we will just hit the post now so hello from posties you can also create a thread directly you can click on add comments you have the preview of the thread how are you my friends we can add media but let's just create it quickly Add to calendar or this time post now. You can see that initially I clicked randomly on Wednesday, but because I use post now, it will put it in the calendar at the real time it was posted. So it's three in the afternoon for me on Tuesday. You automatically receive a notification by mail. Your post has been published on X with a link to the post. And here it is. Hello from Postis. You can see the comment has been made automatically creating a thread. 
pretty awesome for a free software. As with the self-hosted version, you can add as many accounts as you want. Let's go back to posties. You also have the analytics, but unfortunately, X is not supported here. Only Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn page, YouTube, Pinterest, and threads. And because we won't go through all the process of connecting another social media channel, we can see what it is inside the landing page. Here it shows you that you have the post engagement, the different analytics that you can find on the different social media. But what is great is that you won't share the access to other team members and you will centralize all your accounts in one single place. But for X, you won't have the choice. You will have to go to the platform. And then on top of that, you have plugs. And for X, we have those two, auto repost posts. So when a post reach a certain number of likes, repost it to increase engagement for one week old posts. So you can set it. You say if it reached 10 likes, it means it had a good engagement. You can just repost it. And once you activate it, it will automatically do it. Or you can also do auto plug posts. So when a post reach a certain number of likes, you will create a thread based on it. So you can also set it, define the threshold and what you write. Once you know you want to deploy posties to your team, go to the settings and add the other member inside team members with their email so they can set up their account and what role they have. User to be able to post and admin if you want them to be able to set up plugs or to invite other members. And as always, I recommend you to check the documentation for features I didn't present in this video. And if you want to install other providers, each one has a detailed documentation. Simply follow it or ask help on our Discord. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering posties with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video, available here.